To install Eclipse Oxygen, we're going to start by downloading the package that we need. So if you go to the downloads page, you'll notice that you can download the standard Oxygen package right here off the main screen just by clicking the download button. But notice this download packages link underneath of the button. If you go over here, there are pre-made packages put together for different purposes. We have Java developers at the top, you go on down, there's C and PHP and so on. I downloaded the PHP developer package because my site's in PHP. This includes the PDT toolkit and some other useful tools like Mylan and such as that. And if you want to download the package appropriate for you, it should be set up a lot more like the final environment you'll need for to do your kind of development. So I'm going to open up a terminal here. Notice that whenever we download a package off the website, by default, Firefox is going to put it in the downloads directory. So while you're doing the download, you can see the progress over here with the arrow button. And then when the download is complete, you can see the different downloads you've done recently here in the window. If we open a terminal and list the contents, the downloads folder is one of the folders inside of your default directory. Change directories into the downloads folder, list the contents, and we'll see the package that we downloaded. So now we're going to extract the files in the package. Notice that a lot of the commands we're going to run require privileges, so either we're going to use sudo before the commands, or you can switch to administrative user, root user. It's a lot better to just go ahead and use sudo uh, for a lot of these installations because of the way that the privileges will get set up. So let's do tar xcfv. So we're going to extract and unzip the file. And when we get done, inside there is an Eclipse folder. So if you look inside the Eclipse folder, what you'll notice is your version of Eclipse. So now we can go ahead and move this folder over to its final location. So I'm going to use the op directory to do the installation, and I've already got an older version of Eclipse installed. So I'm going to change the name of that older installation. Now I'm going to copy from the downloads directory this file here. But since this is a folder full of other files, we're going to add the dash r, which means recurse, or copy the entire folder and its contents. And we're going to copy all that to our current location, which is the opt directory. And if you get a permission denied, again, just use sudo. So once the copy is complete, you'll see the new Eclipse directory. And inside is the Eclipse executable. So we can start it by typing dot slash eclipse and then putting the ampersand after it if you want your terminal back. And when you're done, it'll go ahead and start the project. And the first time it could take a minute for it to get started, it's going to um, do some checks and load up some modules 